We're going into fantasy land, people. Get ready. We're about to go into a deep dive into Nick's darkest fantasies about board games, not about other stuff. This is a family channel, okay? Don't put those fantasies in the comment. Put other fantasies in the comment, not those. Leave those for someone else. Three, two, one, go. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and this is Metagame Minute. Metagame Minute is a weekly segment where Mike or I talk about whatever we want to talk about in the board gaming world. And today, as I said, I kind of want to go into a little bit of fantasy land. And what I mean by that is I want to talk about what game would I design if I were ever to design a game? And, and this is like completely fanciful, like no boundaries in terms of like, I need to have the ability and the time design, none of that stuff matters because I, I don't have many aspirations to design a game. One thing that we get asked a lot, like if we're live streaming or we're doing like a live Q and A, some people, um, we get fairly off people ask like, hey, do you guys ever have any aspirations of designing? And honestly, not really, at least not in any kind of actuality. Like in my mind, I'm like, yeah, it'd be cool to design a game, but I, I never actually want to put forth the effort or anything towards that actual goal. So it's a very, very much like, yeah, that'd be cool if I didn't actually have to work at all at it. I would love to do that. And there's a lot of things that are like that. But today we're going to go into fantasy land. And I want y'all thinking right now, putting down in the comments, what game would you design if you could just design any game. It could be as big as you want. I mean, it could be like Kingdom Death Monster. It could be like Tussie Mussy, like little button shy games. It could be, there's no limitations to the amount of money you need to spend, the amount of price point, like, oh, but if it's this price, people won't buy it. None of that matters. None of that matters. Just what game would you design if you had unlimited everything, unlimited resources, times, unlimited brain power, everything. So let's go into it. Let's go into it. I honestly haven't really thought this out much. So, so first of all, worker placement, obviously got to be a worker placement, be a worker placement game. And I really like co-ops. I, I love co-op games. If there's a co-op version of a game I already like, it's almost guaranteed that I'll like the co-op version better. So let's go ahead and say co-op worker placement, which is already kind of unique because there's not very many co-op worker placements. There's like Atlantis Rising, which is new. There's like Kitchen Rush. There's probably some other ones, but I can't think of them. So co-op uh, worker placement, I think would be really, really cool. And one theme that I really, really love that I feel like doesn't get done very often at all and very, very rarely gets done well is time travel. I would love to have a cool time travel game. And I know everyone's gonna be like, Nick, there's already an acronym. It's a time travel worker placement game, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> I like Anachrony just fine, but like Anachrony's okay. So like we can leave that stuff. Anachrony isn't um, isn't worker placement. Also, Anachrony's kind of got that like the world is ending. You have to like get off the planet or whatever by a certain amount of time. I don't want any of that. I want I don't want like cataclysmic, world ending kind of themes. I want it to be more fun time travel. I don't want it to be this like you got to go back and you have to like save the world because some horrible. No, I don't want any of that. Or rather, I'm okay with that, but I, I would want it to be for a, a weirder reason. So let's, let's go down that road, let's go down that road. So we have to go back in time to save the world, but it's not because like, like a, an asteroid's gonna hit the world. Let's, you're, let's say, okay, I'm looking at photosynthesis. Let's say you're an arborist and you need, no, 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 it's even better. Even better. You're an entomologist. <laughs> you're an entomologist, you're a bug guy or a bug girl. So you're a bug person and you have to go back in time and you have to save a beetle. No, let's not save a beetle. Uh, you have to save a caterpillar, not even a butterfly. You have to save a caterpillar back in time because there's a, there's a bunch of like chain reaction events like the butterfly effect. I ah, see how I'm tying it in, boom, right here, got it. So if you don't say this caterpillar, then this caterpillar is what is what keeps fruit trees alive. You know, you find out that all the kind of most, the best fruit trees need these kind of caterpillars. So when these caterpillars die off because of whatever, you know, pollution or whatever, some big corporation or something like that. Yeah, a big corporation, that's good, that's good. Because that that's who's trying to stop you is this big corporation. Because you go back in time to try to stop this corporation to save this caterpillar, which saves the rest of the world. And this corporation, of course, doesn't want that to happen because they're greedy. And so they are then, and um, this makes no sense. So you're, you're going back, they're trying to stop you. So it's co-op worker placement. So what you have to do mechanically is, uh, I should have thought about this beforehand. Um, you, you're working together and some, you can't all be in the past at some time because if you all go back in the past, some weird rift happens and, and then everyone gets stuck back there and you instantly lose the game. So you have to have 
some people forward, some people back. So somebody has to stay back to man certain things. And then there's other people going here, taking care of stuff, getting stuff done. All the while the corporation is, is in the future and in the past trying to stop you on both ends. And, um, that's it. I was going to start going, I was like, I'm like, and there's drafting. I'm like, no, no, let's just leave it. Let's leave this hot mess of a game at that. Okay. So here's what we got. We got, it's time travel. The theme is time, your time traveling entomologists going back in time to save a caterpillar that saves all of the fruit trees that exist. And of course, fruit trees, you need bees as well. So it saves the bees, all this weird stuff. So you, you, a caterpillar that saves fruit trees. And there's a corporation that is greedy for some reason and for some reason doesn't want you saving caterpillars that, that is trying to stop you. But that corporation succeeded in the past and so that corporation is still in the future. So the corporation is trying to stop you in the future and stop you in the past. And so you then, and some people can only be, you can't have everyone in one area at once. You have to be mixed and it's worker placement co-op. That's my game. And that's why I don't design games. Cause I would just be like, no dude, there's bugs everywhere, man. <laughs> and so down in the comments, I want to know what would your game be? What would your game be? Would it be, would it be a big minis game? Would it have be the craziest minis game ever? Would it like, like that Cthulhu death may die or whatever that weird game was that had that three foot tall Cthulhu would it be, would it be all those, which I maintain wouldn't be a game if you literally had an entire army of those, but whatever, however you want to put it down in the comments below. And then also put down there, what kind of game would you want it to be in terms of, in terms of, uh, how do I want to put this in terms of how it's liked by the the masses would you want because it's kind of an argument that goes about like would you rather have a game that's generally liked by everyone but it's no one's favorite game or would you want someone where it's like there's some people where this is their favorite game but there's a lot of people where that game isn't for them you know and and i'm kind of i'm you know what i'm gonna let the newfangled four explain this in a better way than i can i'd rather be five people's favorite thing than a hundred people's fifth favorite thing so that's kind of how I feel about it. I kind of would rather be the one where it's like a couple people really love my game and then a bunch of people don't really like my game that much because that's kind of how we run our channel. Like we understand that like the way we run things and the, our kind of brand of entertainment and the way we talk and the rambliness that we do isn't for everyone. We get a decent amount of crap because of that. They're like, oh God, they're, they're, God, the brothers always have to be so zany. They're always trying so hard. We get that comment fairly often and, um, and people can't think that like maybe we're just this weird all the time, but whatever. But nonetheless, like I'm okay with that. I would rather be, I would rather have passionate followers than everyone being like, yeah, they're all right. You know? And so put that down in the comments below too. So your, you, what game you would design, what kind of mechanics, what kind of theme, and then generally how you would want it to be perceived. Cause I honestly think the other way being like, yeah, I would just like everyone to just like my game. I think that's totally valid, like a hundred percent valid. So put that down in the comments below. I want, I want, I want real stuff down there. I want everyone watching this to comment down below because I think this could be super interesting. And honestly, maybe someone's going to get inspired and actually make one of these games happen. And that would be so cool if that happened. So please put it down in the comments below. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up, give a subscription if you haven't already and give this a share. Let's, let's let this one spread. This would be a really cool, fun exercise of no limits. What would you design? Oh, it'd be so cool. If only, if only. All right, that's gonna be it for me, everybody. Uh, my name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph. And remember, whether you design games or you just play them, keeping it simple, the more meta, the more better. Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that video. We honestly really, really appreciate it. We just want to take a second to remind you that we are sponsored by Restoration Games. We are also play all of our games on top of Game Top is right here, which is these beautiful luxury game tables. And you can go to Game Top or LLC to find out more and to upgrade your gaming experience. We also have a Patreon. If you have a couple shekels lying around, you like what we do, please feel free to throw them at our faces. We will not say no to them. Thank you so, so much for being here, and we'll catch you later. All right. Oof. All right. Mikey, what do you want to do? You want to get Ty? Nick! Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Big face disheveled Nick. You can't just do that. Sorry, not sorry. What are you guys doing? You guys getting Thai food? I love Thai food. I want some. Give me some. No, you can't have Thai food. Why not? No, you can't have Thai food because you don't eat food. You're not real. You're not real. No, I'm not dealing with you right now. I'm not dealing with you right now, okay? I'll kill your children. What? What? You guys getting Thai food? What?